Just a quick example of the things that Watson, when properly configured, Watson Advisor can do for you. I have this offense that fire upon just two events. Let's take a look at those events. The first event is a blue, cor blue code proxy. And what this is actually providing is a, an IP address, a URL. Okay, not much there. Again, you can go into virus total and do searches here and there, but the other event, let's go back to those, is a semantic event, as we can see. And this event provides something very valuable for Watson, which is a hash. And also there's a you know executable and a few other things. Okay, is this bad, too bad? How bad this is? It may take you a while to figure out some of the things. Let me show you what Watson found for me. And this can be overwhelming. And in fact, it is overwhelming. So let me actually navigate this the right way. So what we see here in gray is that that user that we saw, there's a Falcon, went to this, uh, that uh, 66 uh, IP address that we saw and he also interacted with this particular hash that we saw there. That was the, so Symantec provided this piece of information, Blue Code provided this IP, and Watson went ahead and found a couple of things. In blue, you see, well, this is what Watson knows about this type of attack. So here on the left, we have a bunch of additional hashes that are involved with this type of attack and a face and, and, a, and a false uh, Facebook uh, type of site. Uh, some more of those indicators of compromise in here and we'll show you in a minute how you can actually get all those. But in here also notice that Watson said you know looks like your fellow has been hit with this type of malware, Loki malware, Tsunami, Smoke loaded, different names of variations of the same type of attack, Emoted, Zeus, Panda. So this is really serious. Not only, I mean, and all these indicators of compromise, you can easily go here on the references and see what do you want. You want the hashes, the high P the domain, and then put it into a reference set so you can have additional rules that would watch for this. In fact, if somebody fell for it, Others may, and you may want to be watchful for that. You only know that there's a Falcon did. But also, because Watson was well configured, and I'm going to show you a little bit more later on how you configure that. It found out, and this is what you see in green, that going into your references data, uh, that Jenny Davin may have also been hit by this as well. And so has been Ray Karen. Again, just two small pieces of information. Notice how much of a wealth of, uh, of details Watson gives you back. And to have Watson properly configured, and I did a video on this a while back, what you need to do is, let me go into Watson here, uh, Watson configuration. You need to make sure that you pay attention to two sections. One is property mapping, because for example, the the, the file hash that we got was named MD5 by Symantec. In fact, if we go back here, we can actually see that the name is MD5 custom. So for Watson to be able to make sense out of that, you need to specify that type of mapping. That here, you know, an MD5, anything that is MD5 custom will be treated as hash. Watson needs that. But also, to get those beautiful green lines that you saw that indicate that other people fell for it, you need to provide that information, the threat intelligence mapping to your reference sets and additional data that you have in here. You configure Watson that way, and Watson will reward you by saving you a tremendous amount of time. Imagine how much time it will take anyone, and, and I'm not sure that anyone can actually <laughs> find all these things, can do by going and investigating that URL and that IP for every offense and every stuff that happens. But because Watson does it automatically, you can actually do 
more of it and detect these type of things. But if you want to investigate any one of those indicators of compromise uh, manually, so to speak, remember that there's the Search Watson button that you can actually paste IP address, M MD5 uh, hashes, uh, URLs, and Watson tells you, okay, this is, and this is the information that you saw nicely graphed. But you can actually, with any indicator of compromise, can go and say, Watson, what's, what do you know about it? And by the way, uh, Virus Total is just one of the very many sources of information that, uh, if you can see, this is a secure list. Uh, that, so Watson has connections to very many engines out there and can help you manually, if you want, to investigate further any IOC. But just the fact that it, it something that could have come as, well, looks like somebody went where they're not supposed to, to, okay, somebody got screwed up, Additional people in my company got also screw up and I need to watch for all these indicators of compromise. This is something that Watson can do with just one click for you.